Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, how to configure your Android Wear LG watch to your Android device. So let's get started. Now, the first thing that I had a little bit of issue because I couldn't find a power button for the LG G watch. Believe it or not, you actually have to hook it up to your cradle to turn it on. Uh, it's like you're powering it on like a charge, like a quick charge. But to turn it off, you go into the settings to power it off, which is weird. Now, when you finally get it up and running, it tells you to install the Android Wear on your phone, which I have it right here. And you go to your Play Store, search for Android Wear. You're going to get two options. That is the first one that you want to install from Google Inc. So let's click on it and let's hit install. And we're going to accept all the Google Play nonsense. And the, the size of the download is only 11.90 megabytes, which shouldn't take this long. Shouldn't take that long to install, actually, guys. So it's installing. Once it finishes install, we're going to open it up. As you can see, I got the watch right next to it. And it's still saying install Android Wear on your phone. And it gives you a nice little name. Uh, please update your Google search and uninstall Android Wear, then reinstall it. So I'm going to press OK. So I have to update this. So in case you guys are not keeping your phone up to date, this is what you're going to get. So I'm going to, I'm going to just play it off. I'm going to update this guy. And once it finish updating, I'm just going to run the Android way and see if it works. I don't really want to uninstall it and reinstall it again, because I don't think you really need to do that. So let's, uh, let's go that way. And I'm going to go back. It tells me let's uninstall it just for the heck of it. Uninstall install it again there you go so i kind of advise you to make sure everything is fully up to date on your phone before installing android wear because as you saw guys i had to update a particular feature that the phone uses uh, so let's press open and it says let's get you set up awesome so let's press that arrow i accept all the terms Turn on your Bluetooth. So I need to turn on my Bluetooth. So I need to go into my panel, turn on my Bluetooth, go back up. And as you can see, it is saying choose a device and the device is the G watch B O one C, which is the same as the watch. So we are going to pick the watch It's connecting to the watch. Awesome. The pair code is two, two, seven, five, six, four. So I'm going to say pair and get the green check mark. It's pairing with the G3 and it's paired. Now the on the phone is pretty quick, but on the smartwatch it's just saying just a second. Uh, on the phone, you're actually able to turn on notifications uh, to display notifications on your watch. Go to notification settings and check the box next to the Android Wear. Uh, two, to finish setting up, press the back button at the bottom of the setting screen. So I'm gonna go to notifications and I want all notifications to go to my Android Wear. That's up to you if you want to enable that, but I'm going to cancel for that now. And uh, it's still downloading some stuff on the phone, which is pretty awesome. And uh, I don't know what's downloaded. What is it downloading? So let's press back, press back home and it is connected and it is downloading something. So I'm pretty excited. It's still downloading something. So once it finished downloading, whatever it's downloading, I think it's probably downloading any firmware that it needs. And that's it, guys. You're good to go and up and running with the LG Watch. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it at the bottom of the comment section, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.